but at least one jellyfish can actually reverse the aging process. A jellyfish that is never aging has been slowly invading the oceans and is also making humans curious about what exactly causes them to live endlessly. The weirdest part about this jellyfish is that it can transform from an adult to a baby and vice versa. They do this repeatedly as an emergency measure to stay alive forever. Stick around to find out more about this. Before we continue, we would like to thank everyone that supports our channel. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe as we post daily videos of your favorite TV shows and films. How this jellyfish can live forever. The immortal jellyfish was discovered for the first time in 1833, but its immortality wasn't discovered until 1990. What is fascinating about these jellyfish is that in their fully grown form, they are only as big as a human pinky nail. This immortal jellyfish is otherwise known as the Turritopsis. They reproduce with each other in one of the oldest ways, which include the meeting of free flowing of the male and female seed. But not to be confused here, these sea creatures can die due to many reasons. They usually die from lack of food, predators, and even illness. To decrease the chances of dying, these jellyfish manage to transform themselves to a baby. A study made by Maria Pia Miglietta, a researcher at Pennsylvania State University, said that they turn into a smaller version of themselves by transforming their old cells into a younger state. The jellyfish then transitions in a blob and turns into a polyp called colony or a newborn jellyfish. During this process, the jellyfish's cells are fully transformed. Their muscle cells can grow as far as becoming a male or female reproductive seed. Because of this jellyfish's ability to reproduce as such, they can create several hundreds of new jellyfish of its kind. These new jellyfish are all almost identical to the polyp colony or baby jellyfish back when it was an adult. This practically means that it ages backward from adult to baby. The weird way that jellyfish develop is helping this species spread widely throughout the whole ocean. Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute in Panama and collaboration with Miglietta made a comparison between the DNA of different immortal jellyfish from the waters of Italy, Spain, Panama, Florida, Japan, and another location. The scientists were surprised to find out that even though this jellyfish's DNA came from all over the world, the genes were identical. These scientists do not believe that these jellyfish could have ended up all across the world through ocean currents, so they suspect that they are sticking onto big cargo ships and let go after they traveled quite a long distance. There's still many things that remain a mystery about these jellyfish. For example, scientists aren't able to give a clear explanation as to why this species of jellyfish changes its form as it spreads. Swarms that live in temperate regions have up to 24 tentacles, while ones that live near tropical waters only have eight tentacles. They are a growing fleet. One of the most interesting things about the study that took place by biologist John Darling of the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency was that this widespread invasion of jellyfish was previously unnoticed. Researchers took a while to notice this because these jellyfish don't have the expertise to identify them as a new species and because they are inconspicuous. Some scientists are taking a step forward and revealing that these immortal jellyfish are anything more than ordinary. For this, they have gathered genetic studies done upon these jellyfish to demonstrate this. Marine scientists at Williams College in Massachusetts James Carlton claimed that this immortal jellyfish is part of a rapidly growing fleet of invasive and unrecognized invertebrates. This study has given us a deeper understanding of how the ocean has reorganized itself. The immortal jellyfish can fight cancer. The impact that this jellyfish has on ecosystems remains unclear and requires a lot of studies. Something else that humans can't understand about these creatures is the fact that their highly effective cellular repair mechanisms make them change their age without the passing of time. The study found that these jellyfish might be the secret to a medication produced for stopping aging in humans. But at the moment, nothing specific has been found, and some scientists believe that to find that out, they need to study the species even more biologically. But even if it turns out that these creatures do not prevent aging, they might help in fighting one of the human's biggest enemies, which is cancer. This conclusion was brought up by a biologist of the University of Salento, Italy, Stefano Pereno. Pereno claimed that similar to cancer cells, a couple of jellyfish cells that were supposed to die off were able to turn on and even off some genes that were tied to reactivating genetic programs which are used by the jellyfish in its early stages of life. Pereno is still trying to study how these jellyfish cells do that and how it contributes to keeping them immortal. They neither have a brain nor a heart. This jellyfish is pretty unique in many ways. For starters, immortal jellyfish do not have either a brain or a heart and function like primitive creatures. It feeds itself through the only opening it has. This opening also allows all of its waste it produces to go out. So that technically means that they eat with the same hole they poop. Kind of gross, am I right? These jellyfish are also some of the most efficient ocean swimmers out there. They travel the whole ocean and use minimum energy while doing so. The way these creatures do this is by pushing away from the direction they are heading using their whole body. Even though this method might sound more challenging to do, it is proven to be more efficient than pushing the water side by side to move as fish do it. The second way the jellyfish travels is by using its bell, which is shaped just like an umbrella. 
this bell contracts, and in the process, it creates two rotating water rings. One vortex pushes further from the jellyfish, while the other one spins, causing it to suck in the water without much effort. This gives the jellyfish a boost in its speed. Just by using this bell, these creatures can travel 30% more in length without using any extra energy in the process. So far, this is the only confirmed jellyfish that lives forever. Now, its official name is Turritopsis dornai, but before its ability to live forever was discovered, this jellyfish used to be called Turritopsis nutricula. Another interesting way these immortal jellyfish travel the oceans of the world is by getting free rides from ships. The way they do this is by getting sucked up by the ballast tanks from cargo ships when they are still at the port. The ballast tank is used for cargo ships to sail better at sea. However, they are a great chance for these immortal jellyfish to get picked up along the way and get transported to another area of the globe. This is a very positive traveling method for these jellyfish, as it increases the chances for them to meet with other jellyfish of the opposite gender. When a male jellyfish lets it seed out into the ocean, some of it ends up getting picked up by a female jellyfish. After both female and male seeds combine, this creates a fertilized jellyfish egg. When some time has passed, hundreds of tiny swimming larvae are released into the ocean. These larvae are called planula, and they are unable to swim during the first period of their life. So the only way for them to survive is by going to the bottom of the ocean and getting attached to a rock. Newborn jellyfish inexplicably change shape and turn into columns of branched polyps. After a couple days, these newborn jellyfish, which are only one millimeter in size, get split from the polyps that they are attached to and start their journey through the ocean. In about two weeks or so, these jellyfish are ready to mate with other jellyfishes of the opposite gender. At this point in their life, they reach a size that is about five millimeters, and their stomach becomes a brighter red color, which visibly stands out from their transparent body. These creatures feed mainly off of fish eggs, larvae, tiny mollusks, and plankton. But even though these jellyfish are technically immortal, they are not immune to sudden threats. They die off from being sucked into a vent of a nuclear power plant or get eaten by other creatures. The immortality of these jellyfish steps in when there is some kind of environmental stress or they have a lack of food to eat. When this happens, they shift back to a polyp stage within three days. This transition sends them back to a polyp colony and they attach themselves on a rock again. The newly formed polyp is almost identical to the jellyfish regarding DNA, but the difference is that it is not packaged the same as it was before. So, does this technically mean that these jellyfish live in the same body? The answer is no. This immortal jellyfish is somehow similar to a butterfly that transitions back to a caterpillar instead of dying. This is the only way to explain it more clearly. But the way these immortal jellyfish live is nothing near a blueprint for humans to be able to live forever by transitioning between a baby and adult. However, there are many scientists who are trying to gather as much information on how these jellyfish regenerate so we can apply this knowledge to medical science. Which one of these facts fascinated you the most? Let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you all for watching and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. See you guys in the next video.